I push it down, it's pushing it up. Trying to get holding the cup at an angle. That's probably about four inches of water in the straw. Cover that so you can see that. Maybe I could put something there to block that bottom. Um, I can't tell if that's helping or not. Let me try something else. I think that helps to see what's going on. Uh, I'm getting a lot of bubbles, but there are some. There's a big one there. It's got a lot of little bubbles inside. A lot of globs with bubbles in it. I don't know. If this would help get rid of them. Okay, another, another four inches. What I'm looking for is to come off the bottom. Getting per, getting. I'm not going to be sealing this. I'm not going to be. If I was to seal it, that be, wouldn't be. I feel that that's not enough air, but I'm not sealing it right now. Almost all my lava lamps are open. And of course, I think I'd have to go through a complete cool, cool down and re warm back up to see what the the real effect. Okay, I'm going to try another four inches. Going to run out of room at the top, so I'm going to put another four inches in though. Another four inches. We want to add it a little more carefully this time. Try to get the straw in as far as possible before I release it. There's a big glob coming up. Well, I'm within a half an inch of the top, so that's about all I can do right now. So what I'll have to do is um, turn it off. Take out some liquid. Oh, there's a big glob. There's a big one. That was that was free. It doesn't look like having many bubbles in it either. Here I've um, found another. Moving the light around. A bigger washer. This is the old washer. And this one is about the actually about the size of the bowl. So I'm going to put this washer on and cover it with a penny and leave a and check that out. There's another thing. Another thing I've come up with <clears throat> thinking about that spring on the bottom and what to do about that. I'm going to turn on the overhead light. Hold on a second. I took a little pieces of aluminum foil and twisted them up. Let me show you what I did. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Just t take about. This is bigger than what I use. But just fold it over. I'm going to use the the dull side because it'd be more rougher. I assume. Fold it up into like a little strip like that. And I'm going to twist it so it doesn't lay flat. Just twist it like a DNA strand. And one thing I've been reading is uh, when you put a spring or something like that in there, you gotta prime it. And it means like coat it with wax. There's a little bit of, this is hot. And it's got a little bit of floating wax on top. So I'm gonna just dip this in a couple times. Try to get some wax on it. Okay, so 
Yeah, I can see that there's wax on it. So I don't know if that's called if that's a legitimate priming or not. Okay, I'm going to drop it in there. And first I'm going to see see if I can find out where the spring is. Since the bottom is painted, <laughs> it's hard to see, but the spring right there I can see it. The spring is on this side. So I'm going to tilt it just a little bit. The bottom's got a hump, so the spring shouldn't move on a slight tilt. And drop the aluminum in. Well, I hope it don't float. Oh no. If it floats. <laughs> Who would have guessed aluminum foil would float? Okay. I'm going to stop the video and solve that problem. Okay, I took a pair of pliers and squeezed the air out of this foil. And I'll try, I'm going to try it again. Twist it a little bit so it doesn't lay flat. And drop it in again. I'm going to tilt the bottle so. Let's see if it'll sink this time. There. Where did it go? It's actually went to the bottom. It's over on this side. The spring is on that side, so ah, perfect. Okay, well actually I, I took the penny off, so all the light's coming through that half inch washer. So basically the, all the light is from a half inch diameter hole. I painted a one inch diameter, left a one inch, I painted the bottom of this and left a one inch opening. That was too much light. So it seems like this half inch, so I'm, <coughs> later I'll probably paint and leave a half inch diameter hole. That seems I'm going to add one more piece of foil. So I'm curious about this next technique I'm going to try. I'm going to cut. I fold it over. It's a pretty heavy little piece. It's a lot bigger than I originally started. I'm going to cut so it's got little sharp edges. Hope I don't cut it in half. The scissors are actually separating it. Spreading it apart. So I don't know if that's showing up. It's got a lot of little sharp edges now. Okay. I think there's a little bit of wax on top. Coated with wax. Some parts are not. I'm going to try it. The spring is on this side. The spring is on the left. That got several pieces of foil. This is probably not necessary. I'm going to tilt it this way. I was thinking about earlier, I gotta be real careful and not make it too big. Shit. <laughs> I wanted to get the first bubble coming off. It looks pretty good size, but it, it started off good before. This is, um, since the last take, I put uh, another piece of aluminum foil in there about two inches long, and I cut little slits about eighth of an inch along this, the sides of the aluminum foil to give it a sharp edge so and it actually landed on top of the spring so it's sticking up a little bit down in there <laughs> 